Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're taking a look at shutter speed and motion and how you can control your shutter speed manually on your cell phone using the Adobe Lightroom app. Let me just start a screen recording here and you can follow along with what I'm doing. All right, so I've got Samaya and Adina here. They're gonna help us uh, out today. They're gonna be sort of modeling and playing around with motion a little bit so that we can figure out um, how to control our um, cell phone, how to control the shutter speed using our cell phone using the Adobe Lightroom app. So the first thing you're gonna do is download and launch the Adobe Lightroom app. It may ask you to log in, so before you get to the screen that you're seeing here, you may have to um, log in. Um, you shouldn't have to pay anything, but um, once you get to the um, screen that we're seeing here, um, to do that you open up the camera in the bottom left. So actually the default you should see something that looks like this and then press that camera, uh, the little blue camera in the bottom right and it'll launch the screen that looks like this now. In order, uh, let, me, let me go to what you will see. You will see something that looks like this when you first launch it. What you wanna do is go down to where it says auto on the bottom left and go ahead and click professional. And that's the thing that's gonna allow you to change your shutter speed. You'll see SEC here, it's the second option on the bottom. Go ahead and choose that and then you can click and drag across that bar on the bottom and that will allow you to change the shutter speed. So right now I just randomly chose 1 800th of a second. That's a fairly fast shutter speed. And I think that's a good place to start if you're trying to freeze motion. 1 500th of a second, 1 1,000th, somewhere up there. Now the option on the Lightroom app, it will actually go to 1 10,000th of a second. And in general, that's probably way more fast than we actually need. So uh, we're gonna do a, a hair flip again. All right, so we're gonna come over here and let's go ahead and set it up. You guys can stand right there. And I've got one 800th of a second. I'm gonna go ahead and back up here. I'm gonna compose my shot and I'm gonna leave plenty of space up here to actually, um, you know, to where I think um, Samaya and Adina's hair will be when we do the hair flip. So I'm gonna count it off. When I say go, I want you guys to flip and I'll try to capture it, ready? One, two, three, go. All right, let's try to time that a little better. We'll try it one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, go. All right. So I was a little early on that one, but we can see the effect is there, right? We're able to capture, there's a little bit of motion blur on there, but for the most part, we're getting it, okay? Now, if we had more time, I want you guys to definitely take a little bit more time and explore this and play around. Try one one thousandth, try one two thousandth of a second, try different shutter speeds and see what kind of results you get. You're gonna need some willing participants who are either ready to flip their hair, ride a skateboard, ride a bike, play around with motion. All right, um, what we are gonna do now is try to blur motion and we're gonna bring our shutter speed, yeah, maybe one tenth, one eighth of a second, somewhere down there. And what we'll do is actually have one of you guys hop on the chair and the other one's gonna just push. And we're gonna try first to get a panning shot. And um, once we do uh, the, 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 after we do the panning shot, we'll do a non-panning motion shot. So the panning shot's gonna be, we're gonna try to match the speed of the moving subject with the camera and see what we get with this slower shutter speed. Um, so where you guys are is pretty good. What I'm gonna do is, Try to track the motion now. Um, you guys are in the frame, perfect. All right, and go ahead whenever you're ready. Yeah, any speed is fine. There you go. All right, so pretty good, pretty good. I actually nailed it in one. So we can see Adina's pretty sharp there. Um, you can see that the background's a little bit blurry. I think that the background that we chose here isn't the greatest just because uh, there, you know, it's not obvious to see those sort of characteristic streaky blurred lines that we would normally get with a panning shot, um, but good enough for this demo, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is non-panning motion shot. And in order to do that, you need a tripod. So in this case, I'm gonna put the phone down for just a second here. To do a non-panning motion shot, you're gonna wanna grab one of these. It's a cell phone tripod, okay? Um, it's a gorilla pod, so it has these flexible legs, and you can just put your phone right in there, put it on some, some stable surface, and then the goal is so that the background will be sharp and then the blurred object will be, I'm sorry, the moving object will be blurry. So let's go ahead and line it up. We're gonna use the same shutter speed for this one. And I'm gonna go with a horizontal shot, which I think might just be a little bit easier to get um, a, a picture of. So I'm gonna line it up here. 
All right, let's go ahead and frame the shot. And there we go. Whenever you guys are ready, uh, you know what I'm going to do? Let's, let's actually slow our shutter speed down. Let's go all the way down to 1 4th, which is the slowest shutter speed that this um, particular um, camera will go to. You can see that it probably will be a little bit overexposed. So that's kind of one of those things that we're going to have to manage, we're going to have to deal with. Um, whenever you're using a slow shutter speed, sometimes you run into issues where the um, light is too bright for that shutter speed, okay? And that's kind of what we're dealing with here. You can see that that screen is a little bit too bright. So we'll, we'll actually maybe have to bring that back down a little bit. So let's go back to our SEC. Let's drop that SEC, that shutter speed down um, here, maybe one tenth. We're seeing a little bit more detail kind of um, coming around there. So that should be good to go. Let's try that. Here we go. Whenever you're ready, go right ahead. All right. All right kind of blurry, kind of sharp. I think that, you know, I think for this shot, we're going to probably want a slower shutter speed. And in order to get that, we're going to have to find a darker environment. So we would, you know, wait till the sun goes down in the evening or do it on a cloudy day or turn the lights off in the hallway. In this case, I don't have the access to the light switch, so I can't turn the lights off in the hallway. But that's a perfect way to get that light dim enough so that you can get that slow shutter speed. So thank you, Adina. Thank you, Samaya. Come on over here. Give us a thumbs up. Appreciate your, your help with this uh, exercise. And I hope that helps you guys figure out the Lightroom app so that you can control your shutter speed and get some good results.